one viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed already please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now people so news coming out of miami florida people sad news where it's reporting that a young father was shot and killed while protecting his baby in a miami beach restaurant you heard that correctly people it goes on to say a gunman fatally shot a tourist eating dinner with his family at a Miami Beach restaurant as the man protected his one-year-old son, police and a family member said. Tamarius Blair David Jr., 22, of Narcross, Georgia, told investigators he shot Dustin Wakefield, 21, on Tuesday night because he was high on mushrooms, which made him feel empowered according to his arrest report david allegedly told police he entered la cervicia restaurant just before 6 30 pm and randomly decided to shoot wakefield who was on vacation from castle rock colorado mike wakefield the victim's uncle told wsvn that dustin wakefield died protecting his young son he goes on to say, this guy came in with a gun, waving it, saying it's time to die. He pointed the gun at his son and Dustin said, he's only a boy. Mike Wakefield told the Miami Herald, he was not in South Beach but heard the account from his family. Dustin stood up between the gunman and the baby and he shot him. He shot him multiple times on the ground. He said of his nephew who worked in construction, he was the kindest kid. He loved his family. He loved being a dad. WSVN reports that moments after the shooting, cell phone video captured David dancing on the restaurant's patio. He started dancing on top of the guy. A witness told the news outlet, I don't know why. A second witness said, what was so strange is the guy that was shooting, they said he was smiling and laughing the whole time and he was shooting the guy. David ran from the restaurant and was captured as he ran down an alley. He goes on to say, cell phone video obtained by WSVN shows David lying spread eagle on his back and smiling as three officers approach with their guns pointed towards him yelling commands warning him that if he touches the gun he will be shot. David then rolled onto his side into a fetal position before again rolling onto his back as officers approach. It's just a very very sad situation you know people because just think about it you and your family come from a different state just you know vacationing trying to enjoy uh, miami we know we're in a coronavirus season or whatever but you know they just came to get away they was out having dinner this random person that you don't know from nowhere all of a sudden appoint a gun at your child and people i have a you know when you have kids you are very protective of them very very protective so imagine somebody walk into a restaurant with your eating um dinner with your kid and your wife and a man just starting to point a gun at your one year old baby and as a parent you're gonna immediately react to that people there's no ifs or but about that you're gonna react to it and immediately as he reacted to it the guy pointed the gun and shot him multiple times even when he was on the ground he was shooting him. It's just a very, very, very sad. It was just a random act of violence. Just very random. Very, very random people. N none of them knew each other. It's not like it's somebody he knew or he had beef with the person. Nobody knew each other and he took this man's life. Now, uh, uh, you have a young lady without a husband and a baby without a father, people. Um, I don't know what is going on in this world, people, but generally, it, it's very sickening, people. It's very sickening that you can't go out and try to have some family time with some random things like this happening. All the way from Colorado, you know, come to Miami Beach, Florida, if you have some alone family time, and this is the end result. I just want to say my condolences goes out to um, this young man's whole family, people. 
my sincerest condolences because this should have never happened. These young people taking all these drugs and can't control themselves and now a family has to bury their child. Um, it's a very sad situation, as I said, people, and uh, my condolences goes out to his family and loved ones, people, all right? Um, if I get more information and updates on this, people, I will give you guys an update and make you know what I'm going, all right? Thank you guys once again for tuning in to Yad and Abroad TV. Much love and appreciation, people. Bless you know.